Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Friday, August the 26th. Morning prayer begins on page 79. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our God. He is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, Come let, let us, us adore, adore him. him. Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 16 and 17, beginning on page 599. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, my good above all other. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble among the people. But those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood will not offer, nor to take the names of their gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. The boundaries enclose a pleasant land indeed. I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. <clears throat> I've set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not fail. My heart therefore is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes be fixed on justice. Weigh my heart, summon me by night, Melt me down, you will find no impurity in me. I give no offense with my mouth as others do. I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast to the ways of your law. In your path, my feet shall not stumble. I call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me your marvelous loving kindness, O Savior of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who assault me, from the deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed their heart to pity, and their mouth speaks proud things. They press me hard, now they surround me, watching how they may cast me to the ground. 
like a lion greedy for its prey, and like a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, confront them and bring them down. Deliver me from the wicked by your sword. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand, from those whose portion in life is this world. Who believes you will fill your treasure, and who will supply with children, and leave their wealth to their little ones. But at my vindication I shall see your face, and when I awake I shall be satisfied, beholding your likeness. Glory to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now. now. And will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. On the last day of the Feast of the Tabernacles, the great day, Jesus stood up and proclaimed, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the Scripture has said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, which those who believed in him were to receive. For as yet, the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some of the people said, This is really the prophet. Others said, This is Christ. But some said, Is the Christ to come from Galilee? Has not the Scripture said that the Christ descended from David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was? So there was division among the people over him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers then went back to the chief priests and Pharisees and said to them, Why did you not bring him? The officers answered, No man ever spoke like this man. The Pharisees answered them, Are you led astray, you also? Have, you any, have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, who do you not know the law, was accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone before him, and who was one of them, said to them, Does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does? They replied, Are you from Galilee too? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to rise from Galilee. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will use Canticle 18, beginning on page 93. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb. His praise and dominion and splendor forever and evermore. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator, creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. I believe, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. 
For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Grant, O merciful God, that your church, being gathered together in unity by your Holy Spirit, may show forth your power among all peoples to the glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, we pray for peace in our world, that laying aside the violence of our hearts, we may work together for a world in which all people can flourish. O God of love, in whom we are all united, bring together in your peace all the nations of this world. Keep us from the temptations of blame and aggression to which our human struggle so often leads. And help us instead to pursue the ways of gentleness, diplomacy, and understanding. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the gift of learning, and we pray for all who study, all who teach, and all who support their work, that a new generation would discover an ever deeper love for truth and an ever greater compassion for others. Lord God, yours are the depths of all wisdom and knowledge. Be with us all as we seek after truth in our studies, our relationships, and our experiences. Give us your gift of discernment, we pray, to see where the truth lies, that we may know what is right, that we may love it with undivided hearts, and that we may pass on what we have discovered to those who come after us, through the one who is himself the wisdom of God, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to Him from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.